All right, made it to floor two. After ascending the stairs, you see a girl standing in the open area, facing away from you. Perhaps she heard your footsteps. She turns around and begins to address you. Her face immediately tenses. Your guild must have gotten here before the person for whom she's waiting. While trying to come up with a response, she speaks first. あなたたち誰なの?さては水兵たちが噂してたマギニアの連中ね。さすがはマギニア。と褒めてあげる。よく私がここにいるとわかったわね。だけど捕まるわけにはいかないわ。Once I go finishes ranting at you, she darts away like a rabbit. Being a little dumbfounded, you brace yourselves and continue in the same direction that she ran off. The plot princess has arrived. Right, build the wall. And let's begin the adventure. Actually, hold on. Interesting. From here, none have spotted me. They finally diagro. Actually, no, I I should still get in the habit of just like fighting everything. Chain circle to get the extra drop. Oh boy! Got it. Nice. Now we can go to the front without worrying at all. My guard order for the front of wall, why not? <laughs> yep, they're new quests. Questions will I actually remember to do them or not? There's something here, actually. While exploring the forest, you step upon the remains of some rotten fruit. When you look upwards, you see a small bird pecking open some fruit at the top of the tree. To your desire, you can climb this tree and collect this fruit. Why not? Uh, volunteers to climb a tree to steal fruit from a bird. You think Fang? Uh, the Ronin. Sure, actually. Fang, what's the worst that could happen? Fang latches onto the tree and begins their ascent. The surface of the tree is very smooth. The average adventurer would most assuredly have a difficult time climbing it. However, Fang skillfully shimmies up the tree, reaches the fruit at the top. Most of them were damaged by that bird, but some of them remain fully intact. Fang returns to the ground with three pieces of fruit in hand. The moment you bite into one of the perfectly ripe, uh, one of, uh, into one of the perfectly ripe fruit, juicy fruit. You see why that bird was such a fan. Sweetness even uh, cures the fatigue. TP, yeah, let's go. The party recovers 35 HP and 30 TP. After such great effort to retrieve their fruit, you are especially moved by their taste. You return to exploration, feeling refreshed. Yeah, it's free experience. That's why I try to just go for them whenever I see them. Nurse, double level up. But I believe Angelo said he wants to save skill points for Nurse Sobo now, so we are not going to use that point. How? How? 
What fucking spider sense do you have for me just walking into your zip code? Suddenly, all the way over here, this guy's like, there's a disturbance in my zip code, and I will just go kill them. He sensed the disturbance in the fourth and just said, all right, time to go aggressively defend my territory. Okay, I marked that. Oh, the gray area. Good. The plus are on for a while, all right. Yep. The classes apparently are not unlocked yet. Wait, what? What was that? I saw a foe on the map. The bats don't sentry duty. Huh? While exploring the forest, you spot a dim glint of light emanating from a nearby thicket. If you were to investigate the odd shape, you'd have to squeeze your body through the dense bra branches of the surrounding thicket. But it's possible to get closer if you wish. Sure. What could cause such a shine? Your curiosity gets the better of you, and you decide to check it out. Scrambling to squeeze your body through the branches, it's very tiring. But you're determined to reach the glint of light, so you continue to, to clamber your way through the trees. After reaching the far end, you see a squat, round vase. The dim glint you had caught was from light reflecting off the vase's glaze. You determined that you've come this far, so why waste all that effort? You reach out your hand as far as you can to the vase. But the base must have been unstable. As your fingers bump onto the, the vase, you caught the roll deeper within the thicket. The round vase rolled so far you can no longer see what it, where it went. Your arm certainly can't stretch any farther to reach it, so you give up on the hunt. Where did that vase go? Perhaps you remain uh, persistent and keep looking. You could find it. Puzzled over where the vat vase currently could currently be, you return to your investigation. Oh, the part one. Weird. What? Butterflies again. Hey! Yeah, part one of I don't know. I'm just going to stick with my sleep strategy until we find out if they have a conditional drop or not. Oh, poison. Don't mind the half HP poison damage. You'll walk it off just fine. That doesn't actually get rid of ailments, though. We should be able to heal it, right? Oh, very easily, just kill it. All right, let me look at the let me look up that monster, Venom Fly. Okay, no conditional drops. 
371 HP. Weak to electricity and weak to paralysis. Done. Sleep is normal. All right. All investigating the forest, you notice someone approaching your party. Oh, Red Moon Guild. Did you receive orders from Majinne to investigate this place? Seems that you've run across art in the forest. Beside her is Wolfgar Jr. I swear, High Emma, High Lagard has an ancient forest just like this one. I was really surprised to see an Yggdrasil, uh, see an Yggdrasil here that looks the same as the one in High Lagard too. As Art looks around, you tell her that there's multiple labyrinths in Lemuria that look like the labyrinths found in other lands. I see. How odd. I wonder what caused this force to appear. Art seems perplexed by the Lemurian labyrinth. Oh, by the way, have you run into a girl anywhere in this forest? Yeah. Oh, good. So she's around here then. She just goes wherever she wants. Art replaced her annoying look with a forced smile, then bows to you. Sorry, she's the one who hired me. I brought her here because she wants to see the forest, and now she's disappeared. But thanks to you all, I know she's around here. Somewhere. There's a lot of dangerous monsters here, so I'm going to look for her. Uh, what's the first one? Uh, two? Ah, gotcha. Advising him, after advising him to be careful, she and her best uh, beast companions appear into the woods. You can follow her and investigate this forest if you so wish. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have no other choice to. Wait. While exploring the forest, you spot a shard of earthenware on the ground. How did this mess get here? It certainly is an unusual sight in the forest. You can examine the broken piece more closely if you wish. Examine. You approach the earthenware to inspect its pieces. When you step close, you realize that you've seen this earthenware before. It's the vase from the bushes! It must have shattered after rolling away from you, this, from you earlier. As you examine the broken vase, you spot several coins among the broken pieces. 1460. Some preceding games, uh, strat, uh, strat things, classes. Yep, we've been noticing that a little bit. While you may have failed once, your tenacity led to a positive result in your, for your efforts. Satisfied, you return to exploring the forest. Yeah, this is my first Etrian Odyssey game. It's the only one I managed to ever buy. And I figured I might as well play it, and chat voted for it, so we're playing it now on stream. What the fuck is that? Cube gel. Honestly. Actually, don't even really to do that much, I think. Gonna put Great Warrior on Fang. Gonna set up a chain one to bind arms for the bonus. Oh no. Oh, that hit a lot of times. Accuracy is down. Okay, this is turning very dangerous. Uh, it would be a small heal, but it's something. Actually, no, hold off on that. 
don't dismiss heal just yet. Attack it. I'm going to force and attack order. You get us a little bit of a global heal here. Actually, guard order, just in case. All right, missed out on one of the conditionals, but it's all right. I mean, if that had a conditional for the arm, why not? There was no effect. Wait, what? Huh? No effects. What did that mean? Cube gel. Hold on. Venom fly, yeah. There are the conditional. An amorphous creature with a unique shape. When sleeping, its mucus becomes very sweet. Oh. The one thing I do a lot of, put things to sleep. Oh no, there's rubble right here. Only goes two squares. Oh, we got a chop point. Nice. Handy branch and just two handy branches. God damn it, fine. These things do not have a uh, conditional at all. I'm gonna do a sleep just in case. It's sleep. Alright, just attack it. Hold on, how much? We should be able to kill it, I think, right? Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell was that? OBS just threw up. Big warning right there. The stream's still up. We've killed five, four snails and completed that quest. Did you guys not see it? It was fine. I saw like on my own stream preview, it my stream go down and OBS giving me, I'm uploading at zero kilobytes a second up. So I'm like, wait, what? Like I have dropped frames now. That's why I was like, what happened? What's going on? Not for second, not normal. I gotcha. As long as it's good, we good. While exploring the forest, you spot some kind of movement by a tall stone pillar. It wasn't the trees or brass shifting. Something hid behind that pillar. You can't tell what it was from your current position, though. You can check behind the stone pillar if you wish. Sure. You approach the stone pillar to see what could be hiding in the shadows. When you step closer, you become even more certain that something is hiding there. What could it be? You peer around the pillar. 
Monsters leap from the shadow and attack. There's no time to run. Get ready to fight. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna guess we're fine, right? I'm gonna do a physical ch uh, thing right here. Great warrior. Set up a sleep one and let's guard over the front, right? Should be fine, right? Oh, that's elemental. Well, we learn. We certainly learn. That sucks. by sunflowers we did uh, how much did we lose i don't think we even went to the second floor yet Back to this. あ、また来た来れたら無理すんなよ。お主たちか。冷やかしは有利非成立じゃん。毎度あり。いや、君たち。やっぱ、I had not Alright. Wait, what? Okay, not as bad. I thought it literally just erased my entire trip in this first floor. All right. But also I notice that shortcut is not on. Fuck me. It's so annoying.
All right, at least it saved my map here. I gotta do this again. Alright, part one. And then we get to talk to you again. It gives you the option to save your map after death. Not that it does it automatically. Alright, let's map everything again. That's gonna be incredibly annoying. To relearn everything here again. Oh my fucking god, what? Alright, hold on. Let's revive you in the front. Alright, I leveled up again, finally. And now I put that point again in proficiency. Yes. Alright, pick up the vase. Fourteen sixty N. Handy branch. It's another handy branch. Same thing. All right. I was already informed about that, Haiti. instantly set up a sleep circle to get the new conditional. Or try to at least. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, 241. All right. And I'm missing the monster that was there. Nanda. This was the sunflower encounter. Try this again. Don't 
unfortunately, the one that revived is the one that died. Sooner, so well. There you are. All right, now we hopefully can kill it before it kills us. leveled up again but he wanted us to hold on to the level so not gonna miss the points yet while exploring you're the forest you notice that the bushes in front of you keep shaking intermittently so your party comes to a halt you think to yourself could it be a monster however nurse will notices the girl's skirt peeking out of the brush seems like that girl you saw earlier is hiding in there she seems to have noticed that there are people surrounding her as she exits the bushes slowly. やるわね。この完璧な偽装を見破り、私を発見するなんて。いいわ。特別に私に名乗る栄誉を授けてあげる。マギニアから来たものよ。名を告げなさい。Who are you? Huh? Nani denno? She first, uh, she first seems surprised, but then quickly nods as if catching on to something. Ah, hi hi. Wakatta wa? Nen ni wa nen wo irete kakuni te wake ne? Daijoubu. Watashi wa kagemusha demo nise mono demo nai wa? Watashi ga umi no ichizoku no ojo enri ka. The girl grins proudly at the conclusion of her introduction. So ne. And who are you all? You tell her the you tell Seafair Princess that you are the Red Moon Guild. Red Moon Guild. I'll keep that in mind. So, you're here for me, trying to capture the Seafarer Princess for ransom, eh? Well, that won't be happening today. It seems like your conversation has grown too loud. Monsters have gathered around, all around you, brought here by the volume of, voice, of your voices. Erica smiles as she sees your guild ready their weapons. So, Red Moon Guild, these monsters are all yours. She dashes away, laughing about how she will not be captured. There's no way you can chase after her from the middle of this predicament. Prepare to fight your way through. I honestly do not even care about her so far. Yeah, that's right, we don't know about you yet. Angelo. Hopefully you can beat the final boss. I'm sure you will, but all the same. After defeating the monsters, you look in the direction that the girl ran from, ran off. 
You go to the princess in charge of seafarers. She may not appear very regal, but her attitude does seem befitting a princess. However, neither you nor Virginia have any intention of capturing her. It's dangerous for someone to disappear deep into the woods while operating under a misunderstanding. You decide that you will set the princess straight the next time you see her. Honestly, would not even bother. We have to actually be careful that this might just kill us. Or could get us very low, at least. I'm just gonna be reckless, though. And put Club Command on there. Actually, didn't matter. Good. to fight snails. Okay, sure. Alright. There's the door here. Uh, what else do we have to worry about here? Another door. Weird. Okay, let's not kill them outright this time, hopefully. We can do like horizontal flash and just not care anymore. I think we have to kill it one like while it's asleep, so that hit has to kill it. Yep, tranquilizer gel. There we go. I'm going to assume the other door is probably the way we have to go, so... Let's see what's up here. Okay, yeah. This is just a square room. What? While exploring the forest, you arrive at a clearing where you see multiple soldiers. When they notice you, a guard approaches you. Konnichiwa. Hello, adventurers. You must be all you must all be tired. You almost be tired from the exploration. We have some food here. Would you like to take a break? As the guard says, you can rest here if you wish. Sure. You decide to take up on take up the guard's offer and rest. The guard then brings over some cooked meat on the on the stick from the bonfire. It's the meat of a beast we took we just took down. Feel free to eat as much as you please. The meat's still hot and juicy. You all satisfy your appetites with the soldier's quarry. After such a hearty meal from a generous guard, you feel refreshed. Full heal. Good. Oh, it's time for us to move out. Let's both do our best. Uh, best in there. Eh? The soldier gathers up the supplies and sets out for the exploration. After thanking the, gar uh, the kind guard, you return to exploration of the as well. Alright. 
right. Horizontal flash to the back row. Um, I'm just gonna hold off on that. Warrior sweep and attack order to the front to be ready. Oh, I thought you were gonna actually kill them. Got all of them. All right, I'm gonna flash to the back, and we can do Mirage Sword to the front. Everyone else defend to make sure that we get like the actual kill with this. Only 100. Shit. Okay, now we have an issue. some HP left. Okay, good. You have Great Warrior in attack order. That should be enough. There we go. fight you just yet. Because I have not saved anything yet. I have not, like, saved that I've done this far yet. Like these long stretches of rubble. I mean, it's probably introducing that, like, that's just the normal layout. And not the final floor. This is gonna have the T Rexes and the fucking bats to just annoy me. Oh, joy. Why does the texture on the floor here look different? Interesting. And I think it's stuck. It's, it's sick to sell for a while. Wait, no, I don't want to do that. Sweet. An attack up again. 
Now we can do things like horizontal flash and not worry about it. Gonna do a pack order just to get HP up. Doesn't even matter though, we're fine. You got some bad memory, but you got good eyes. It's not even really that. It's just kind of obvious when you look up, when you just look. For the entire game having a perspective like this, it really is just a, you have to acknowledge something in front of you. For example, that, just don't step into it. Last three complete. Nice, man. Awesome to hear. When are you going to start moving like normal? Cause I wanted to see if I could drag you over here. It looks like it's a cobblestone, but I'm not sure. Like, I'm assuming the, the icon will change once you see what it, once we've seen what it is, but. Probably the good representation of it, but I kind of wish I had fought it already the a little bit earlier right here. I could have gotten a free turn, and we could have gotten a setup. I don't know. Let's science that. We can. Oh, so that's not for us. That's for us. Are you against the foe? Interesting. try it. If I lose, it's going to be rough, but oh well. I'm trying arm strike on him just in case. Oh, his legs are binded also at the beginning. Oh, that's really potent. I'm gonna say hold off on that actually. Force up. We could. So we won't lose our stances while we're using stuff. I don't feel like I need to just yet, but maybe. Nice cut, cheap, other 
stuff. After I'm gain more like this one and have greater attack. I'll go for you though. I'm gonna use an elastoscope on it. I'll go ahead and force myself. I'll put a sleep circle up. I'm gonna force you and get a guard order up first and foremost. I don't know what I'm in for here. See what that did. Sweet. All right. Thorn nail. So they could paralyze and crush with just a glare. What did he do to us? Oh, he removed our buffs. That guard up does not, that defense up does not exist anymore. All right. But now we're gonna go for the big nukes. Petal scatter. You can go for a regiment rave. I can even get in our sobo to buff. Great warrior on Fang. I need to do nothing now, essentially, just sort of stand here and look good. And attack up for everyone. Oh, because the defense in half. But since we have guard order, that was just negated ours. Gotcha. 1531. Physical shields. And... 528 only. Damn. Shit, that missed. It is weak to curse for some reason, so there's that. Oh, it's resistant to sleep. And I somehow managed to get that shit on him. I kind of want to ease in right now just because I don't want to do a normal attack. I might be leaving after this anyway, so we... Mm, I'll do it. I'm not going to put Regiment Rave again to happen. Great Warrior on you. We really also have nothing else that we can do ourselves, so just... has come to feast. The deadly foe that hunts well and hurts even more. During the fight, it keeps its arms safe, using them to balance itself on the ground from falling and uh, failing after attack. These claws are exceptionally strong and useful, but become brittle once the beast dies. One needs to remove them cleanly to receive uh, one uh, receive one at the blacksmith from use. So arm bind, probably. Or maybe cut. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Let's we'll see. On the plus side, we up also apparently know it's weak to ice. But nobody here gained the bonus from basic attacking with ice, so that might be a weird one. I just transfer uh, for another foe. And you forget me, Eradicate. I forget shit really easily. I'm going to get guard order up in case he does that again. If I don't have a defense down. 1955. Not bad. Sweet. 
See, your yours works, Angelo. Mine doesn't. I thought they even like to try arm biting just in case. Just in case. Add a game of water incorporation. All right, Capricorn. Great Warrior is still on people, so it's kind of almost a 50 50 if one of them gets hits. Actually, don't attack. We don't need to worry about that right now. How much does William's Force Break do? William's Force Break, I think, it was like damage mitigation, wasn't it? Well, I couldn't. I can't do it now anymore. So there's that. That's right. Oh wait, yeah, you're right. I missed that though. Oh well. I'm going to as well, just in case. Alright, just in case then, let's just keep going. I'm thinking that's going to run out here. Sleep circle's still good. Our buffs are still good, actually. Actually, wait, I have Frigid Slash. I forgot about that. I'm forgetting that I just have that for better damage. Horn nail. Alright, so it probably actually I'm gonna assume it was beat with cut, but it might have been also okay it was cut damage good. It might have been arm because he also was arm buying it for a little bit there. I'm actually somewhat nervous that we've not found a shortcut anywhere yet. I want to say that. Missing out of some of these shortcuts, I bet. Actually, maybe not because there's not really many places here that there would be a shortcut, aside from like right here, maybe. Or maybe right here. But, alright. And yeah, it is much safer, but uh, leave and save just because we've gone far enough, we've used a lot of our TP, we should get out of here. That's right. 
We got both of them. You got a Mai Mai bat. Oh, that's a huge chunk of meat. Looks pretty disgusting up close, to be honest. You're engrossed out? Well, one of my customers are. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, you're at the counter. Look at this hunk of meat. What do you think? <laughs> she ran off screaming. Didn't even pay for a drink. But well, guess that's my own dang fault. Let's hide them behind the counter. Wouldn't want anyone running off running off on their bills now. Hmm. I can't believe he's going to feed the, this meat to his customer. From what he told me, he's basically going to serve it like this. Tell me that adventurers from High Leggers wouldn't blink twice at something like this. Like this. Those La La Guardian sure are tough. Well, can't just leave this lying around in the open. But let me get your reward and get this delivery delivered to the cook. Yeah. There you go. Thanks again. I hate that. I bought one of those things and he just gives them away. And then this. Welcome back. Good work as always. Look at that wyvern skull. It's so big. I bet you could wear to the hat. All right. You wanted to know what it's for? Drum roll, please. It's a gift for someone to wear on their head. Well, he, he made the request. He told me, Toma told me, good friend. He always helped me, so I give back to him. <laughs> Boy, am I glad I'm not that Toma fellow. My neck would probably snap in two if he tried to wear the thing of the hat. That said, here's a reward. I'm here all the time, so come back whenever it... No, to pick up another request. Things are so close to leveling up. There are new ones now. Uh. Bat hat spat. That one's from an overwhelmingly energetic girl who blew in through the tavern like a storm. She told me she wants to replace her weathered trademark hat and make a new one. However, she's having some difficulties getting the last material she needs and wants someone to bring it to her instead. She needs a bat membrane. Oh, that's expensive. From Bloodhound Bats in the Ancient Forest. From the sound of it, they're quite tough. They're not. So make sure you're prepared for the fights. They are not tough. Picking on that request? Eh, let's see. Oh, it's from Miss Napier. As always, you should go see her to hear about the details. Oh, I have it. Give her a gift of my love, too. No. Yep, bat hat. We get a nectar too from this. Hello again. Thanks for the report. While you were out, that energetic girl came by again. She was just brimming with joy when I told her you'd accepted a request. But then she started shouting, Red Moon Guild, huh? All right. Next time I see them, I'll take them out to my... It was just my fist. Boy, I have a tough time keeping her from going after you. Had I not held her back, she would have tried challenging you to a duel. You better appreciate all the things I do for you. Even if um, uh, even if it were her other guild members that stopped her in the first place. And levels! Right. One second then. Now, Pierre, what's going on? Oh, ah, it's you. I can tell by the look on your face that you're here for my special for my request. Thank you for coming. My request is quite simple. I need you to gather the materials to make battle boots. I'd like to add them to my shop's inventory. I will need two separate materials. You can find both of them in the ancient forest. Um. First, I need hard wood, which you can just chop down. Next, I need soft hide. You'll have to defeat some clawed moles to obtain it. This task shouldn't be very difficult for a guild like of your stature to retrieve the items and sell them to me Yuma, here. That's the long and short of it. Head to the forest and get it done then. I think I have all that. Arumi. Dino Slicer. Bunch of things. 
Told them to you. Hardwood and soft. Wait, did I not get the soft lights? Oh, I'm missing the hardwood. Fuck, I thought I got it. Ah, alright. Though we can now buy life belts, I guess. And yeah, Emerita need tranquilized gel. Ah, there's the actual TP regeneration item. Let's see. The curious here is defense, smash defense, and agility. But a brass fang. Hmm. All right. A life belt, of course. Butterfly hairpin. Poison wings. 1611. Meh. All right. What about the weapon then? Dino slicer. This is the normal sword that gives paralysis. Well, the sword you have, William, gives vitality. From 64 to 52, you'd lose eight. About the golden conditional? Yup. It fucking sucked. It was easy. Shut up. Don't tell him. <laughs> Don't tell him I got it accidentally. <laughs> tell him fucking, uh, we were 20 levels above. That that does not diminish the fact that we got it. Shush. Shush. <laughs> I just ignored that area for 20 fucking levels because I hated it, that place. But, all right. It would give more attack. A good amount more, actually. We'd lose some defense and because of the vitality going down, but... We suffered to reflection spam. That's the thing, Hades. I do not know what I was going into, and we change our team every dungeon. So sometimes we just cannot get additional the moment we reach a boss. You have to wait until later, and then we build a team that can tackle the next one and hopefully do other stuff. But we always build a team before knowing what the next labyrinth is, so it's always just kind of a crapshoot and fun. It'd be up to Will. Actually, it's up to the chat because William did not get back about his character request. So this is just anyone's character now. Everyone's character, actually. Did you get to get the wyvern conditional? Should definitely be doable at this point. We haven't gone back for it now. Whatever its chop points are. We'll get to it eventually, Eradicate. I just gotta remember to do that. 61 attack and 54. But we would lose a small bit of a defense. Vitality, really. The Arumi is a wisdom sword. Kind of weird, but alright. Hindi is a agility bow. We actually have not used someone that uses a bow. We had a gunner. But they had a gun, not a bow. And we haven't had a reason to put a survivalist on the team yet. Or at least they haven't, they haven't been randomly thrown in. That right there, though. Act speed up, up. Some people can use that gun, and that would be really nice. If 
Apollo could certainly use it. Oh, good, good. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Blah, blah, blah. And then Francis for the drive blade. And an HP up drive blade at that. Nice. And shotgun. Wait, that's strength up. Mmm, that's... I mean, unfortunately, I don't know if it would match it, though. I don't think this would actually be able to match it, though. Yeah, Hades, I remember that one you're talking about. This one, right? Yeah, I, funny enough, actually did do it with a pugilist. To be like an hour and 20, 30 something minutes of just fighting it over and over, getting it low, getting the pugilist thing to land all of them, and it not one of them not wearing off the literal next turn. It's awful, but I got it, and I'm never doing that again. Honestly, I think the shotgun is not as good as the rapid fire gun. Not only did I think that the attack just is astounding up here, but also axe speed is just so good. You just see from rep? Whoop, we only got the one farmer that was requested for the team. Well, who do we have here? Are you for are you fortune seeking adventurers? I'm Colec. I've come to Virginia to gather more rare items in the world than anyone ever has. I look forward to seeing what extraordinary items I will find here. In society, some things are considered valuable primarily due to the effort involved in obtaining them. Like the thorn nail, for example. In the ancient forest, there's a powerful monster called the Rushing Raptor. Fitting it um, uh, with a cut attack will shatter its claws. With some effort from a skilled craftsman, these claws fragments can be refined from, per term, uh, from peculiar dentrals into a masterpiece. Do you understand? All right. The cube gel is quite an enigmatic creature. Did you know that it produces a rather fantastic material? If you defeat the monster while it's asleep, you can retrieve an extremely sweet material called tranquilized gel. I must admit, I'm a great fan of its sweetness and texture. You can easily sell it as a delicacy. Were you to acquire enough of them. And fucking curse recall conditionals. Yeah, I gave up on that. For the harpy, I think, was the one that had that. The moment I think we read, I read the hint that like, oh yeah, it has to die on its own recall. I was like, yeah, nope, not doing that shit. Fuck that. I might formaldehyde that, honestly. I have two of them so far. Hey, folks. What's the best way to deal with the cube gel? Not only does it lower your hit rate, but once it's, once it's beat, it buffs the remaining monster. Oh, that's what it does. Leave it alive. Your attempts, some, uh, your attacks keep getting worse. Kill it first. The other monsters get stronger. What do you do when you're up against that something like that? Maybe you find it somehow so it can act? What do you think? Sleep. Say, are you by any chance the fabled Red Moon Guild? <laughs> I've been hearing a lot about you. I'm Brit. Oh God, I'm Brittany. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, here's a word of advice. If you ever run into a monster called a sunflower, watch its movements real carefully. If it starts preparing to attack, it'll end up unleashing its solar flame, a fire attack that hits the whole party. If you mess up your timing, you'll get burned to a crisp. They forgot to clear their throat. Yeah. Forget who it was. Oh, you're the one that need to find those things. Yes. Oh, you know where'd you find it? Test map to indicate location. Um. A 
at the chop point. So that's the place, huh? Hang on a sec while I send my guys to check one out. You were right. My guy reported say, says there's a chop point right there where you told me. Now I've got a great lumber source and it's all thanks to your investigative skills. You, got to you only needed to find one? Alright, I guess. That's done. Mm. Thanks to your port. But everything went well, as always. Oh, the commenters here in Virginia have it pretty hard. I mean, Virginia itself is always moving around. Every time it moves, they've got to find a new source of wood. Hmm. Plus, they're just moving all the time. Houses and other buildings must wear down more often. They've got to take their location, their current location into mind when taking care of repairs. But the commenters don't complain, they just keep chugging away. We've got to show them our thanks. But first, they want to show you their thanks for helping them out. Well done. What's that? I'm being too serious? Well then, I can light the mood by stripping off my trousers. <laughs> Feast your eyes on this moon! <laughs> I'm just kidding. What are you, man? All right, any quick levels? So Fang the Ronin. I think we said we're gonna get Rising Spirits to max and then going to speed up. Yes! For William, we're making our way toward Dark Image. For Narsobo, we're holding off on points. For me, I'm gonna put more into proficiency here. For when we dismiss them or get wear them off or anything like that. Oh. And for Motorm, ah. Shock Arms is now finally at seven. Ah. Not dark, graceful? Oh, I thought we were going to dark image. It will not dissipate at the end of the turn. Graceful much. If the either Use the skill while after to play. Oh, that's why. I forgot that. Yeah. Final boss killed. GG, man. Congrats. You want that crap at max ASAP? Unfortunately, it's not up to me, Hades. Chat. Every single character is owned by a chat member. They give me the skill points they want to use, and I will put them down to the letter. Do they not want to get any of these skills? I'll do that. Do they want to focus and wait until they reach a certain breakpoint level, say 20 or 40, and spend all their points over there? I'll do that. And I got to make every single thing work. But some people being very curious with their build. Real time? I am, BB guy, I am. Oh! <laughs> Wait, no, wrong one, wrong one. I don't need to challenge for any means. No, but it makes them fun. That's what I do for any game that has character creation. I will never use a story character. Chat makes all of them. Reb, want some pizza? I would love pizza. I would love food in general right now, guys. My last meal was yesterday, I think at around seven. I've not eaten anything yet. Oh, yeah, about 17 hours, I think, since my last meal. We you uh, post-game EON? Maybe again, eh? It depends what it depends, Angelo. So please don't do anything rash, grinding money. But don't go overboard. We have easier ways to get cash. Yep. Because if not, my adventure is done here. And look at the time! <laughs> you guys are like, ah, oh, time to leave. Time to end the stream already. But yeah. almost. Can almost. There's no missions. Items. I've registered 150 items. What did we get? Let it be good. Really? I would have loved like an actual item or something. And I failed to find a boss. Ah, gotcha. 
見事だ I just got a hundred monsters. Unihorn times three, whatever that is. I think I have those, I just always forget what they are. Have H4 is B1F. Alright. I wish they commented like how much I effort I put into making the maps look good. Bastards. Returns all allies to normal status. Alright. I have one on hand, I guess, just in case. I don't need the Volt Mist. What is this? Slightly increases force gauge. Meh. I need to get a Theresia A from storage. Is there anything else in here that I would want to get back? I have Nathoscopes too. My two formaldehydes. Nope, just buy Ariane Threads and I think that might be it. So expensive. Right, let's go to sleep. Alright, guys. And actually, wait a second, hold on. <coughs> wait, what? Have you seen, uh, Red Mugu, have you seen Cheris? What? What's wrong? Seems like Cheris headed into a dangerous forest all by herself. Red Moon Guild, help me out of here, please. I'm begging you. She's gotta be in the recently discovered forest. I'm gonna head that way now. I'll see you there. I... Oh, I have a low amount of nectar on me. Keep doing stupid stuff. I do not know. All right, now let's say I'm going to stream right here. All right, guys. I'm getting very hungry. I would want something to eat. So thanks for watching. Hope you had a great time. Tomorrow, we're going to be playing uh, some AI Somnium Files. Because that's the one day on the week I get to pick the game we play. Next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to get back to what's called Etrian Odyssey Next. But Friday, Saturday, Darkest Dungeon 2. All right, guys. Stay awesome. And hopefully, you'll let me you one more time another time. See ya.